Hello, my name is Mark Schnesk. I'm Senior Application Engineer with Sila Design Solutions. In this video, I'm going to show you the new Transparent Command ribbon tab, as well as the new Profile Toolset included in that ribbon tab. Now, the Transparent Commands are commands that you can call within other Civil 3D or AutoCAD commands to choose point, elevation, slope, or distance measurements based upon graphical elements in your drawing instead of having to type them in or calculate them yourself. They've always been a part of the software in this toolbar that's been on the right side of your main drawing viewport, um, but they've kind of go unnoticed and some people don't even notice they're there or what they're used for. Autodesk has now added these commands as its own ribbon tab called transparent commands in the 2019.2 update, where you have larger icons as well as descriptive text below each one. They've also included a new tool called the profile tool set. Now I'll show you how this works. In this drawing here, I have a horizontal alignment and a profile view, with an existing surface profile and a proposed profile. It has been brought to my attention that I must modify my design profile by lowering it where the power line crosses that center line of the road. Now I can go through and take some measurements and try to figure out where this station is where it crosses the alignment and then know what the elevation is, or I can use my transparent commands along with my profile tool set and graphically select this item on there. So with that, I'm going to highlight my proposed profile, choose my geometry editor, and in my profile layout tools, I'm going to start the command to add a PVI. Now, now I'll go back to my transparent command ribbon and I'll start the profile tool set. This immediately splits my viewport into two viewports with the plan view on the left side and the profile on the right side. I can configure these viewports by choosing the edit viewport configuration tool and change them from two vertical layouts to two horizontal layouts. And at the top one will be the alignment and the bottom one will be the profile. I can modify these as I need to, however it's going to work best for me for my situation. And when you do change the viewport configuration, the command does stop. So back in my profile layout tools, I'll reselect the command to insert PVI. It's now asking me for a point for my two PVI, in which case, and the command up here in the profile tool set, you can see I have my profile view state that I can change. I can input or select a station, import or select a elevation or grade. So I'm going to choose the green button next to station for my center street alignment. And in the top viewport, you can see I can ride along the alignment and select the stationing. I'll use my right click, shift right click for my object snap overrides, choose intersection, and choose the intersection of where that crosses the alignment. And you can see that is filled in the station 6 plus 88.34 into my station dialog. Now in my elevation tab, I can select back down on my profile viewport. And in my elevation tab, I'm going to type in the elevation that I know it needs to be 687.50. If I hit enter, it is now entered and added that PVI point to my command. I'll enter again to exit the command, and you can see now it has entered a PVI at the 688.34 at 687.50. And with that, that's how the new profile tab works. I will go ahead and close, and then I'm back to my regular viewport drawing, and I can continue from there. Any of the other transparent commands are available to me. I can also check in my AutoCAD help file or Civil 3D help file and gain understanding how these other tools work. If you have any questions, you may email me at mshinesk at siler-ds.com. Please don't forget to subscribe and follow us on our blog at www.siler-ds.com forward slash blog, and I hope that you have a 